Oxygen cigarette, oxygen cigarette. Wow, little grandma doesn't take a break. What did I know about smoking back then? I was only five, but now I know it's a big no-no. Little grandma passed away from pneumonia when I was 18. My dad's mother, Bessie, was a smoker too. And even though she had stomach cancer and made pain-filled faces and yucky sounds, she still reached for her Virginia Slims and took a puff. My father smoked a few packs every day inside the house, inside the car. It wasn't until 2001 when my sister-in-law became pregnant with my niece that he started smoking outside. Mom was glad because she wasn't a smoker. Sometimes the effects of secondhand smoke are more dangerous than smoking itself. About 10 years ago, my dad went through a major surgery, very unexpected. The doctors told him he had a 50-50 chance and he should go home, visit with his family, and make a will. We were all pretty scared. On the way to surgery, he told my mom, this is going to be my last cigarette. My mom said, don't say that. I don't want to lose you. No, that's not it. I mean, regardless if I make it or not, this is going to be my last. To this day, dad hasn't smoked another cigarette, but suffers from COPD. We all laughed one day when he reached into his shirt pocket where he used to keep his cigarettes. Dad said, what am I doing reaching for my cigarettes? I haven't smoked in years. Habits are hard to break. I'm thankful dad broke his smoking habit. My oldest has cystic fibrosis, a genetic disorder that affects the lungs and digestive system and makes him vulnerable to repeated lung infections. I've been trying to teach my other children how important it is to live a healthy life. At first it was a challenge because I was still smoking. My middle child, Atreyu, asked me, Mom, why are you smoking? It's not good for you. I know, I know. My family and elders were challenged by smoking addictions as I was. I'm always saying to others, don't tell me, show me. I'm going to show my kids and family that I can stop. It takes one day at a time. I want to be better about taking care of my health as a mother, especially because of the work I do now. My name is Mary Agnes Talache. My Tewa name is Siguenafobi. I am an aunt, a mother, a sister, and a daughter. Today I work as a community doula. I am a birthing companion who provides physical and mental support before, during, or after childbirth. It has opened my soul to a birthing process that has been lost. I help mamas have a voice by being an advocate for them. I am helping to bring back the natural birth practices by working on to create a nonprofit organization and birthing center for all indigenous women from birth to elderly. As a mother, I've had many little seeds planted within me. I have nurtured and watched each of them grow. On January 19, 2017, at 12.43 a.m., I gave birth to Jingham Ray. It was my first home water birth. It was phenomenal. A woman's womb is the first environment for us all. Everything a mama goes through is passed on to her unborn child. It can be positive or it can be negative. Smoking affects the fetus. Mothers and fathers are sacred and must be respected. As mothers and fathers, we know far too deeply the different traumas our families and community members face, and we hold the capacity to love unconditionally, but with accountability. 